Hi and welcome back to my series on using Microsoft Excel with NVDA or Non-Visual Desktop Access. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to move and copy worksheets as well as how to delete worksheets. So to start with, I have already opened uh, the workbook that I used in the previous video and this is uh, entitled Exercise 2 Workbook. Now let me check the fo the name of the worksheet that is on, on focus and I can do that by pressing NVDA plus shift plus up arrow. Budget for May 2021 table. Uh, NVDA said budget for May 2021. Okay and I'll check the other worksheets. I can press control page down to go through the other worksheets. Budget for April 2021, Table 1. Next to May 2021, budget is April. Budget for January 2021, Table 1. Next is January. Budget for February 2021, Table 1. Next is for February. Budget for March 2021, Table 1. And next is March 2021, Budget. Now if I press another control page down, one. NVDA day said A1. So meaning I am on the last worksheet and uh, if you notice the worksheets are not in order I mean they are not arranged uh, in the right way from January to May so what I'm going to do is to move the first two worksheets which are budget for May 2021 and budget for April 2021 uh, after March or after budget for March 2021 so to do that I'll go back to the second worksheet which is budget for April 2021 I can simply use control page up to go back budget for February 2020 budget for January 2021 table oh, budget for April 2021 table one now on focus is the worksheet that uh, bears the name budget for April 2021. Now here are the steps to move this worksheet in focus. I'll activate the ribbon, particularly the home tab by pressing Alt plus H. Ribbon tab, tab control, home tab selected Alt H. Then I'll press O. Microsoft cell size grouping, row height, alt H, O H. And then M for move. Before sheet list, budget for May 2021. Now, here is a dialog box, the move and copy dialog box. And uh, in focus is a drop down list. Now, NVDA said this is the May. Okay, let me check again by pressing NVDA. Budget plus for May 2021, list item focused. Okay, so this is a list and item on focus is budget for May 2021. Now, uh, this list here uh, is where is, is where I, be, I will be putting or I'll be transferring, I'll be moving uh, the current worksheet, which is April. So uh, if I will activate, or I, if I will press enter here, then April 2021 will be moved before May 2021 or budget for May 2021 worksheet. Now instead of doing that, what I would want to do is to move uh, budget for April 2021 worksheet after March 2021 or after budget for, May, for March 2021. Now I know that that worksheet, which is budget for March 2021, is the last worksheet so i'll be looking for the item here which is move to the end budget for april 2021 i'm just pressing down arrow budget for january 2021 okay budget for february 2021 budget for march 2021 now here's the budget for march 2021 but i'm looking for another one which is move to, move the to end. end okay move to end so this is the item that i'm looking for and i can 
uh, press tab and look for the OK button or I can also press enter here so what I will do now is to press enter at this point since I have already selected uh, the location where I will be moving the current worksheet so I press enter now Microsoft Excel exercise 2 XLSX budget for April 2021 table 1 ok so in focus still is budget for April 2021 so I'm going to check uh, if there's another worksheet after this by pressing control page down A1. now NVDA said A1 so meaning there's no worksheet that follows this now let me check the other way is to press control page up, page up to check the previous or the preceding worksheet so I'll check by pressing control page up. Budget for March 2021 table 1. Now NVDA said budget for March 2021. And this is the right location for budget for April 2021. It should follow March. Next is I'm going to move also uh, the first worksheet, which is budget for May 2021. So I'm going to go back by pressing control page up. Budget for February 2020. Budget for January 2021 table. Budget for May 2021 table 1. And I'm going to do the same steps. First, I'm going to activate the Home tab by pressing Alt plus H. Ribbon tabs, tab control, Home tab, selected Alt H. And I'm going to press O. Cell size grouping, row height, Alt H, O H. And M to activate the Move and Copy dialog box. Move or copy, I mean. Before sheet list, budget for May 2021. And since I'm going to put May to the end, I will be looking for the item move to budget end. for January 2020 budget for February budget for March 20 budget for April 2021 move to end okay here it is and I can press enter Microsoft Excel exercise 2 XLSX budget for May 2021 table 1 okay and focus still is budget for May 2021 and I'm going to check the preceding or the previous worksheet by pressing control page up budget for April 2021 table 1 and it's the budget for April 2021 worksheet. Now for my next activity, I'm going to create a new work workbook. And I can do that by pressing Ctrl plus N. Sheet 1, Table 1. Now, uh, focus is on A1. I'm going to press down arrow to go to A2. A2. Here, I'm going to type labels. I'm going to type name on A2. Edit N. And press tab to go to A, B2. sheet one table B2. And here I'm going to press address Edit A. and tab again to go to press C2. sheet one table C2. And on C2, I'm going to type mobile number Edit M. Apple. and press tab again to go to D2. number sheet one table D2. Here I'm going to type email address. Edit e. mail. Okay, now I'm going to press the home key to go back to the beginning of this row, which is A2. Sheet 1 table, name A2. So A2 is name. Now here I'm going, I, I have decided that, that I'm going to make this as the column header. I can press that by, oh, I can activate the function to assign this as column header with the hotkey NVDA plus shift plus C. Set A2 as start of column headers. NVDA said set A2 as start of column header. Now I'm going to check if A2, or if A2, B2, C2, and D2 are now set as column headers. I'm going to press down arrow to go to A3. A3. Now I did not say name here, but I'm going to go to B3. Now remember A3 and uh, third and uh, rows below these labels these column headers uh, have no information yet so i'm going to press right arrow to go to b3, b3 address. now nvda is uh, saying address this means that the column header has affected so I, I press the right arrow and go back to cell a3 but name so a3 name 
And even if I press down arrow, B4 press. A4, B4 is still a C4 address. mobile number. C4 is mobile number since uh, column C is uh, or from C2, C2 is set as uh, the column header and the label there is uh, mobile number. And on D, D4 email address is email address. Now with this, now if I decide to copy these labels on my next worksheet, I can do a uh, just a function which is almost the same as the move function. So I'm going to activate the copy worksheet function. Okay, but before that, I'm going to name this or rename this worksheet and I'm going to name this as my uh, information or profile worksheet. So now I'm going to activate the home tab. Alt H. Ribbon tab, tab control, home tab selected. And press O. Cell size grouping, row item. And letter R. Sheet 1. Okay, so I'm going to rename this. Now, currently the name is Sheet 1. So I'm going to name this. Um, as uh, profile and press enter. Profile, profile table, default email address. Okay, to check, I can press NVDA plus shift plus up arrow. Profile table. Okay, NVDA said profile table. Next, I'm going to copy this worksheet going to activate again the home tab. Ribbon tab, tab control, home tab selected, alt H. And letter O. Cell size grouping, row height, alt H. And then M to activate the move or copy dialog box. Before sheet, list, profile. So again, uh, here's the list. And I'm going to select the location where I would be uh, copying and pasting the current worksheet. I'll go to I press down arrow. Two. So here I'm going to uh, copy this worksheet, the profile worksheet on sheet two. And I press tab. Move or copy dialog. Move selected sheets. Create a copy checkbox. Not check out C. So here this is a this is a uh, create a copy uh, checkbox. Focus. It's a checkbox. So I'm going to check this by pressing space bar. And I'm going to press another tab. Now, by the way, before pressing another tab, now this checkbox, okay, I'm going to uh, listen to this function again by pressing NVDA plus tab. Create a copy checkbox, focus check out C. So this is to create a copy checkbox. So I, ac I, I actually check it. So now I am going to press a tab okay, button. Here's the OK button and press enter here. Microsoft Excel put one, profile, two, table, D4 email address. And let us check what happens. Now let me check the name of the current worksheet by pressing NVDA plus shift plus up arrow. Profile, two, table. So it says here profile two. Now this is profile two because this is already the duplicate of the first worksheet which is also named profile. Now to rename, I'm going to uh, press Alt H. Ribbon tab, tab control, home tab. O. Cell size grouping, row height, Alt H, O A, profile R. two. Okay. Now I'm going to type here profile of my friends. Profile of my. And press enter. Friends, profile of my friends table. Before email. Next, I'm going to copy the same worksheet. Okay. So I'm going to activate the home Ribbon tab. Ribbon tab, tab control, home tab select. And letter O. Cell size grouping, row height. Before and sheet, list profile. Okay. So here. Profile of my friends. Sheet 2. Okay. So I'm going to uh, paste it before sheet 2 
Move or copy dialog. Move selected sheets. Create a copy checkbox. Not checked. Alt C. So there, I just pressed tab, and here I'm going to add. Press the space bar to check. Check. Okay button. And press enter on OK button. Microsoft Excel put one profile of my friends. Two table. D4 email address. Okay. Now here NVDA said profile of my friends two. So I'm going to rename this worksheet. Ribbon apps tab control home tab select. Cell size grouping profile profile of my friends two. And I'm going to name this profile of my church mates. Profile of my and press enter. Church mates profile of my church mates table. D4 email address. Okay. Now for my next activity, I go to the other uh, sheets or worksheets by pressing Control page down. Sheet two table one. Now sheet two and sheet, sheet three, three table one. Okay, these are blank worksheets, and and I would like to delete these two worksheets. Now to delete this worksheet, I can simply press. Uh, Alt H. Ribbon tab tab control. And then letter D for delete. Oh, delete cells, delete rows, columns, or cell C T R L. Alt H D D. Then I'll press a S for sheet. Microsoft Excel put one. And I'm going to check by pressing Control page up. Profile of my church mates table. D4 email address. Now, upon pressing control page up, I am moved to the worksheet uh, I named profile of my church mates. And if I press control page down, sheet 2, table the one. Sheet two is here, another page control page one. down. And there's no more worksheet after sheet 2. This simply means that I have successfully deleted sheet 3 earlier. So now I'm going to delete sheet 2 and I can do that using the same steps. Alt H to activate the home tab. Ribbon tab tab control home tab selected Alt H. D for delete. Up delete cells, delete rows, columns, or cell C T R L Alt H D. And S for sheet. Microsoft Excel put one. Now I'm going to check uh, the uh, active worksheet by pressing NVDA plus shift up arrow. Profile of my church mates table. And this is uh, actually the third worksheet profile of my church mates. And I'm going to press control page down to check if there's another sheet after this. Control page D4. down. D4. Now, uh, NVDA is saying D4. It means there is no more worksheet after this. And I'll check by pressing control page profile down. Of my friend's table. D4 email. Profile of my friend's table. Profile of my friend's table. Profile of my friend's table. Profile of my friend's and if I press another control D4. page up, there's no more worksheet uh, before profile worksheet. Now this simply means that I have successfully deleted uh, the two worksheets earlier, which are sheet 2 and sheet 3. Now take note that in Excel 2010, the default number of worksheets is 3. Now, unlike in 2013 and up, that there's only one worksheet in every workbook. So I have ac actually deleted the two extra worksheets, which are worksheet two and three. So with this, I would like to thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you, and until then, God bless us all.